Hi, welcome to the Virgus Show. I'm Sherry Hansen, and um, we're not in Virgus today, but we're with what I, I guess I'd like to call you a Virgus boy, Brett, you know, just because um, I see you in Virgus a lot, and your dad has ties to Virgus, and so we're going to we're gonna encompass you in our Virgus family. How's that sound? <laughs> I'm with Brett Stahl, and um, Brett, tell me what your actual title is um, with the Pro Rodeo Circuit. I'm a PRCA bull rider, yeah, uh, just go down the road and try to make a living riding bulls and chase a dream that may come true one day. Yeah, I think uh, it, there's something wonderful about being able to chase a dream. And while you're chasing that dream, you're doing it on top of a bull. And we were talking to as we were getting ready for this show this morning. It is still the eight-second thing, right? Yes, it is. You just ride for eight seconds, and they have two judges or four judges that score you 1 to 25 on the bull on how well the bull bucks and how well you, you ride the bull while he bucks. And uh, they judge, uh, it's usually them bull riding their two head deals and the two uh, scores combined. Okay. Well, while we're here, Brett, is this is where it all started, right? We're at your ranch that you grew up on outside of Detroit Lakes, and you went to school and graduated from school in Detroit Lakes. When did you actually get the passion to want to be in the rodeo circuit? Uh, just when I was a youngster. Mm -hmm. It started from day one. Just and you, you told me you rode sheep, right? Yeah, rode sheep as you, <laughs> just a little kid. And That's where you start. Just went up the lines from there, Little Bridges Rodeo to High School Rodeo and Amateur Rodeo and went to bull riding. In 2009, I got my PRCA permit for free, actually, for winning the high school state. They give okay. us a free one. And I filled that at my actually first pro rodeo I went to in Carson, Iowa. And then from there, I rodeoed on my permit the rest of the year. And that following year, 2010, I bought my rookie card. Okay, now you need to explain to me what the permit means. The permit is, uh, it kind of separates the amateurs from the pros. Okay. You got to buy your permit, and you got to win $1,000 on your permit okay. in a year. And then the next year, you can go on and buy your card and go on your rookie card. Oh, okay. And your rookie card, that'll, that gets you into a lot more rodeos. So you have to have qualifications to get into the big rodeos. So you have to have money won or had been to enough rodeos to get into that rodeo. Okay. And so at what age, Brett, did you ride your first bull? Seven years old. <laughs> I just can't believe that. Uh, and how did that happen? <laughs> uh, the Nordic boys from down the road here, uh, they just got me started in it and said there was a bull riding school in southern Minnesota and we jumped in the van and, and went. They lied to me, lied to them, and told them I was eight, and I was only seven. And, but yeah, now they just they know that now, and they just laugh they at just it. They just laugh about it. Yep. Now. So, Brett, when you um, when you're at um, getting ready to go on the road, I know you're at home right now um, because you have an injury. You want to tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, I uh, broke my foot actually in Pocatello, Idaho, a couple weeks ago. I rode this little yellow bull stepped off him and landed right underneath him and he run me over and broke my foot and so I'm home for a couple of weeks off now and head back out tomorrow and hopefully it goes good. Well actually to be able to get a chance to interview and talk about this it worked out good for me but I'm glad that it's healing up and that you're getting ready to head back out. So when you go on the road what what is the best part about being on the pro rodeo circuit road? Uh, just being with your friends your traveling partners I mean you're kind of like a little family you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, you just, you're free. You ain't got to answer to anybody. You do what you want. I mean, you go down the road. I mean, we all believe in the right things, and we got, all got our head on straight. So, I mean, we're just a family having fun on the road, just chasing a dream. I liked what you said, too. You're not competing against each other, right? No, it's not, totally. I mean, yeah, at the end of the day, you know, you, he might gather a check and you might not, you know, but you're just competing against the bull and high score put you to the pay window so all right so that's the highlights of it what are some of the bad parts about being on the road uh, not being home just just gets hard you know you got to put everything at home on hold pretty much and that's what's just hard and sleeping in a different bed and hotel room you know trying to get a good night's sleep some of them aren't the greatest are they no no <laughs> some of the places you heck in the front seat of a car with four other guys you know in the car just cramped up and drive 15 hours and heck you're sore as heck and you got to get out and get on and then get in the car again and drive like heck to get to the next That's one you right. know so do you have a highlight ride uh probably rapid city's extreme bulls this last year uh in january there i was 90 
on that death warrant of Matt Birch's. They're out of Wyoming. Uh, that ended up paying thirteen hundred and or thirteen thousand five hundred mm -hmm. some dollars. Yeah. So. And so, what are some of the titles that you're holding right now, Brett, with your pro riding? Uh, I'm number six in the world right now. Currently, uh, I've won over thirty thousand in the last three months. And uh, in the Extreme Bulls Tour, I'm sitting number three in that. So hopefully it just goes good all year and make the NFR and make it happen. All right, don't tell me what the NFR is. The NFR is the, <laughs> it's, an, it's pretty much the Super Bowl of rodeo. Okay. It's the top 15 guys in the world at the end of the year all go there, and there's a lot of money added. I mean, each round you went around pays over 17000 mm -hmm. And then you get on 10 bulls in 10 nights, you know. One bull, a night. <laughs> One bull a night. You talk about the bulls. Brett, do you ever get in the shoots and are thinking, I just am scared? No, that's scared. Well, you're always a little scared. I mean, if you that's ain't good, scared, yeah. you're hum you ain't human, you know? I mean, everybody's got that little inch of fear in them, you know? And that's, bull riding's 90% mental. It totally is. And probably 10% physical. You know, there's scrawny guys that can ride bulls good you know mm -hmm. I mean you don't need to be big and muscled because you can't overpower a bull you can't over muscle a bull mm -hmm. you know That's true. That makes so sense. yeah it's just, just keep going so when you talk about that what do you do to train to be physically ready because you do have to have a physical readiness yes you just I mean just kind of clear your mind and like I just tell myself don't think just react you know you already know how to do it you know, it's just like riding a bike. Once you've done it, you don't forget it, you know. Mm -hmm. So just just react. And that gets you a lot of, you know, I mean, once you start thinking, that'll get you in trouble. I mean, it'll get you bucked off nine times out of ten. So. Now, you, when you um, were younger, um, around home here where we're at, you would um, ride the horses around here? Is that what? Heck, I rode everything I could get my hands on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, horses. I mean, heck, me and Dad and Patrick Crawford, a bullfighter that lives just down the road here grew up here too uh we'd build a little shoot and buck something or whatever dad had around just for practice okay. at the time now brett i know that you talked about um sponsorship when we were visiting earlier um you're always looking for that because i, I liked what you said about that john why don't you tell the people about that so we can be looking for some sponsorship for you yeah i mean just it helps to have sponsors so i mean once because everybody has their down times ups and downs and it's harder when you're a thousand miles from home and wondering how you're gonna get a meal in your belly or get home or get to the next one and I was, it's just it be so much more insurance you know you just don't have to rely on you know something to help you get down the road and I mean and not just to help you down the road just take your, their name and bring it with me up the ladder you know because yeah, you're I mean all them deals them extreme bulls they're all televised I mean they're all they all interview us and everything so and so that person, that yes, business's name, name would be, would be yeah, be wearing it right, right here. <laughs> exactly. So it'd be on me, and people would notice. Right. And if you're doing good, and people notice that, and they're gonna notice the stuff on you, and obviously, you know, go to them for whatever they need. So. Well, I think we can believe in, in what you got going here, Brett, and I, and I really admire um, how far you've come with it. And so I think uh, if there's a business or personal party out there that's thinking about that they want to get on the, on the circuit with Brett, um, they just need to get a hold of him. We've got the information here on the screen and that, but they um, just need to get a hold of you to be that sponsorship. And, to ride, you know, it's kind of like they'd be riding the bull with you. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I could. it depends on what they want to do. I mean, for shaps, I can have their name put on shaps, vests, shirts, autograph sheets, the whole nine yards, I mean, if they want, so. So you just go ahead and get a hold of Brett Stahl with that. What is, um, what is your, who is this, who do you look up to the most in the pro rodeo circuit? Look up to the most, probably my traveling partner, Clayton Savage. He's a two-time NFR qualifier. Uh, he's been down the road and done it, you know, and he took me under my wing a couple, under his wing a couple years ago and just taught me, I mean, the ropes of the pro rodeo and how to enter and just introduce me to world champions. I mean, hands that I'm friends with now and that I talk to on a daily basis. So, I mean, he's helped me out a lot. Okay. And, so. and you know, Brett, you're going to someday be helping somebody else out too because I, I expect to see you up there too. All right. Thanks for joining us on The Virgo Show. And thank you, Brett. Be sure and watch them. Thanks.